ugly. Come on. Don't be silly. Oh, starting off hot, we've got another episode of the Thoughts and Friends podcast. Bobby and Wes are here. We will be drafting MTV programs today. That's a big one. I'm excited about it. Um, not really a lot of inspiration behind it, other than it'll be a fun draft. There'll be a lot of hot takes, I'm sure. Uh, deep draft. I don't think there's a ton of... I think we de- there's definitely 15 good shows available to be picked. I mean, sure. good depends on your definition Agreed. of good, I guess. But uh, yeah, it could I make mean, a good draft. I Correct. think. I think we decided there was a bit of a tie-in. Kids are going back to school in our sure. childhood. When in my teen years, I mean, it MTV consumed I just an egregious amount of time and bandwidth in my in my mind. Um, it's going to be great. I don't. I think we'll have fifteen solid picks. Hopefully, yeah. Um, I can't wait. But Bobby, you were like a latchkey kid, I guess. You were a small child just watching tons of MTV. Hell yeah. Tons. So <clears throat> I think I remember specifically like the most being at our small ass house, having like one of those really big box TVs that were like super deep, you know? And and MTV music videos were just oh. bumping. Oh. Oh, the best. Love a music video. The music videos died. There's one that pops in your head. MTV music video. Go from your childhood. Um, something from Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm oh. thinking. First one that popped in my head for some reason. Grind on me, Pretty Ricky. Ooh, nice. nice. Ooh, the um, the. We know where your corny little head is. Um, the. <laughs> I mean, that was the only. In sync. In sync. Bye, bye, bye. I think that one. We're in yeah. the wrong That was a good one. Iconic. That was key. It's a popular the puppets. One. Yeah. I think Only Child, I don't think I was watching MTV at all at the time that those songs were out. There's no way. You were probably still watching PBS. Probably. I mean, because that's what, late 90s? That's 90s, right? Whenever NSYNC was big? 99? Um, Yeah, late 90s. I was four. There's no chance. I I didn't even know how to work the TV. I was watching Ed, Ed, and Eddie. What an idiot. You you guys should see one of my or any of my like child videos like one time Tommy and I got home after being at my parents house where we watched a few like home videos and he's like man your parents really raised you like a hooker and I was like what the fuck because my videos I'd be like a b c d because I'd be like mocking like Britney Spears you want to be Christina Aguilera Mm -hmm. who didn't Mm -hmm. I still do yeah yeah, I guess that you you kind of get you get left behind. You're kind of left to fend for yourself when you're. How much older are your siblings? Sibling. My closest sibling to me is um, four, uh, six years, seven. Like you know, like six or seven years, depending <clears throat> on it. Yeah. And then my <clears throat> my brothers are all like ranging from like forty five up. So yeah. you're just left to figure it gap. out. It's a big gap. Yeah. yeah, and the parents are like, "We haven't fucked these other ones up that bad. We can just kind of do whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be good. You'll we'll coast. Yeah, and you are fine. It's Actually, fine. just a fun little tidbit about me too. Like, um, when I lived with my brothers, they were all like in high school or just graduated high school, and I was super fucking young. And the other day, I said something about like being stubborn or something to my brother. He's like, "Oh, I remember when you were so young and you broke my weed buds. Like, I guess he had something." <laughs> And I got into his room and I just, and he told me one other time that when I was a little kid, he made me like, uh, break up his weed because my fingers were so small. Damn. I obviously have no recon, reckon, not reconciliation. Oh my God. Recognition of that. Use your words. Memory? Recogn- there's, I don't just know go with the memory. Can think of the, yeah. Just go with memory. There it is. I'm going to go memory. Yeah. You should try to not try and be so smart it's on the show i think we ridiculous. need to stay in our lane a little bit you know Tone we overreach right. a little bit on the show why say mini word when little word do trick yeah synonyms why you gotta make one with more syllables nah. synonyms. You know? got a lot of synonyms okay that's All enough right. mtv uh bobby's childhood talk uh explains a lot about her um we don't really have a lot of news topics to discuss um Pretty sad, guys. Was not taken up on the offer to make any graphic designs. The offer will roll over 
into uh, this week. I'm telling you. Yeah, come on, unlucky. people. Unlucky. I can make you something fun, something you can show all your friends. Maybe you can oh my put God. it on a t-shirt for yourself. I just thought of something I, I need you to make me a graphic for. Oh, okay. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah. And then I can Share it on make your... this, and then I can promote it to get others to do so. Write it down, send it idea. over, okay. uh, and I'll, I'll knock it out for you, guys. Like, share the show. Um, yeah, tag us on social media, and I'll, I'll make you something. Speaking give of that, us a draft idea. Yeah, draft ideas. Just let us know anything you're thinking ever at any point in time. Our, our doors are open. Office hours all day long. Open. open. Uh, we do have some listener questions. Make sure you're checking our stories out on, uh, I guess... You know, I, we usually put it out in the morning if we're going to record at night. So uh, I got a few questions here. Um, what kind of bear is the best? That's one of the questions. Black wow. bear. I mean, am I wrong? There's three kinds of bears, right? I mean, I sp- suppose you can get more specific. There's black, brown, brown. and polar. Is brown yeah. and grizzly bear the same thing? Or is a grizzly bear just a type of brown bear? Ooh. I think that question. it's a type of a brown bear i because agree there's but other I mean, brown bears yeah. i think yeah like polar bears are just way bigger and more dangerous right that's feels yeah. seems like what i've heard i i will never be i'll never not be shocked about the pure size of a fucking bear yeah got, and, then it, and it starts very close and then it starts galloping you're like wait a minute that you climb trees there's just that, no shock that I like, wonder what a bear smells like. That small vehicle of a, a animal is, is. is traveling very fast. Yeah, extremely <laughs> terrifying. Um, I mean, it might be the scariest animal that I still kind of want to pet. It does they look, look kind of cute, but I know they can murder me very easily. No, I would. But... I would much rather pet a lion with the big old mane, mm. like this. Man, but bears are so fat. Wouldn't you want to just yeah. like lay on one like a beanbag chair? Just, yeah, I would. Like, yeah. you know how you treat Bruce? What if you just had a giant bear that just walked around your backyard and you could just cuddle with him all the time? I'm just or, thinking about sniffing him. I don't know if you've ever been to like a national forest and you see like baby bears and you're like, oh, I just want to steal that. I want to take it yeah, home with me. Yeah, I'll take that home. guys. What do you want but it to you smell it? like? Like like a dog's paws almost. Corn chippy. Okay. Corn chippy. Yeah, that's, you know, I I don't smell dog's paws. Uh, tortilla chips. When you open up a fresh bag of tortilla chips. That's, that what, your smell dog's, good. that's what your dog's paws smell like? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What are you feeding that After guy? After a long day at the tortilla factory. Yeah. he Well, someone's someone's got to pay rent around that place. He's got to pull his weight. <laughs> exactly. What does, he, what does he do at the tortilla factory? He like presses them and makes them flat. That's oh. why the brown spots are on there when you yeah. get them out of the. Yeah, that's his paws. Yeah, that's... yeah. Well, he's oh, doing. A good... He's it... oh. oh, he's pooping in the. He's doing a good job. They no, it's just good. stuck in his nails. Mm. Yeah, oh, they do. We always have a ton of tortillas on deck, and it's because he be putting that work in. Because you got. Yeah. You got. You got the plug. Lifetime supply. <laughs> Shut Hell up! Yeah. Shut up, Bruce. Unofficial mascot of the pod. I made some tacos this weekend. They were delicious. Some carne asada. Yeah. Some some homemade salsa. Very good. Very good. Quite delicious. You're the unofficial chef of the pod, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I am the official booty shaken contest winner of High Tide. Um, you want a tort contest? Pool bar. You want, uh, I I've not heard. I did see on your story that you had a lake weekend. You went to the Ozarks. I would love to hear the debauchery. Mm-hmm. Man, it was. It felt like I was back in college. It was just a wild, wild time. It's been a while since I've done like a group trip with girls and guys. The past few that I've been on have been like bachelorette parties. So no boys. And they bring another they bring another element to the the party for sure. Um, we went down there for my brother in law, Polly P, his birthday. 
you might be wondering, like, is it a special birthday? Was it like his golden year or something? Nope. He simply just decided I want to go to the Ozarks for my birthday. And we all fucking went and just gave him the best birthday of his whole life. Um, So Friday we went to a pool bar. And, you know, the first day of vacation, nothing goes down quite like the bruise on the first day of vacation. And the DJ's up there. He's like, oh, I'm going to have a MILF twerking contest. Or I'm having a MILF, uh, like, dance off or whatever. And I'm watching. I'm watching all the MILFs up there. Like, kind of sad, you know. Like, I wish I could get up there, but I'm not a MILF. Right? Don't have any children. I'm not a liar. The last mom that's in the contest flashed her tits. Yeah, she did cannons straight out <clears throat> straight the fuck out and so then they said that they were going to do a bachelorette version of that i naturally take off my wedding band duh Obviously. throw her on the other hand and i get up there there was like 12 women and i was like number seven that's i don't know if that's like a good strategy or bad strategy because i was like very late in the game to where it's like I could, they could remember the number in my head, in their head, you know. Immediately got to the final two. Then we do our little final shake off or whatever. <laughs> this bitch leapfrogs me, pushes me down on the ground, and I, my, <laughs> I fell backwards because of that. And so then she, um, she still lost. So, ouch. Damn. So think- when you say she leapfrogged you, she's standing behind you, puts her hands on her shoulders and jumps over top of you. Correct. Exactly how I'm imagining it. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Uh, the idea of a twerk off between was she, two competitors was, is a funny idea. Was she also twerking while she leapfrogged? <laughs> I don't know, actually, but I mean, she you probably didn't have a great view. You were underneath her. No, yeah, I was in fact underneath her. Um and it was fun. I had a great time. We rented like a little uh boat for Saturday that was pretty cool. Had a little basement with a bedroom and all that. <laughs> Lots of drinks were drank. Uh first time in the Ozarks too, so not to be mean. I don't really care about that part. I need more details on the twerk contest. Yeah, we need to read. Well, look, one, you guys, you guys what, didn't what, ask any more questions. Well, you kind of moved on pretty quickly You kind of moved there. on, and um, we can't have that. Okay. Um, one, kudos to you for opting into the more difficult age bracket. You very easily could have faked it and joined the MILF group and absolutely wiped the floor with those old... Although, I imagine the lady that dumped her tits out won, I'd assume. No. Well, oh my god what kind of a guy those um, must have been some yeah how were they not weren't, exceptional tits they weren't fantastic they were some mom tits huh they mm. weren't they weren't like too pancakey but they weren't great tits okay what was who was oh. the judge was it just like crowd applause uh volume yeah yeah okay 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 yeah i'm stunned what i is... didn't just win immediately but do you pick music do they play music for you they just how long do you have to us. dance i think it was like 10 seconds or something mm-hmm. which that's kind of a long time is it specifically a twerk contest or is it a dance yes. contest no okay it was okay it was a booty shaking contest they didn't say twerk they said booty well shaking. to be fair that's why the one lady you know it's not yeah. a tit shaking Dis- contest yeah. sweetheart. disqualified it's a it's a tit shake. It's a it's a booty shaking contest. Nice you know rack. What? No, but... I, no, the milf one was a dance off, not a twerking mm, contest. Okay. So okay. that was okay. Ball game. She it's tits. a whole different ball game. Yeah, you need that an was entire in... skill set for that. You know, you need rules. to be more well rounded as a competitor. So maybe you know. I'm wondering. My first question: What time of day is this? In the daylight? Is this like at a? Oh. Is this Broad like daylight. one p.m.? Oh, maybe no. Maybe one p.m. Yeah. Oh maybe no. 
one one thirty. Oh dear. Okay. Do you think the other girls saw your massive dump truck and thought, "Let's just pack it up and go home"? We're in trouble. They just said, "Game over." Yeah. What's yeah. even the fucking think, point? Yeah. They they looked across I, the field. It looks good getting off the bus. You know, looks good yeah. in shorts. Yeah. Yeah. If we were making an ideal life, body was... type for twerking, it's you. You're low yeah. center of gravity, big exactly. hips. Yeah. You know, shaking yep. that shit. Yeah. Shaking that. Now was it? And as as Mason Christ said, those things were thinging. They do be mm-hmm. thinging. Mm-hmm. Now, are we mm-hmm. staying on our feet? Are we dropping it? Are we are we down? I I, I went on all fours. Oh no! Do we think that and might have sealed going... it? Was that all fours? Okay. Okay. It, the first eight seconds didn't seal it. The floor drop certainly helped. Yeah, but it's the closer. I, yeah, everyone knows that. We're doing. Splits this way or splits this no, way? No, I didn't. I didn't. No splits. Split. I think just I was just like on my knees, kind of doing a frog knees pose. In the hands. Yeah. No. Frog, no. Well, yeah, kind of froggy. Kind of frog yeah. pose. Yeah. The yeah. hips. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Of course. Okay. Um, and also, I I feel like. I was blacked out pretty much. Gonna say, closed. how I drunk were you? Because I don't really remember a whole lot, but like for a split second there, I was like, I'm pretty sure like they're saying my name. And I was like, are, cause we weren't with like that many people. There was like eight other people there with my group specifically. And I was like, surely that's not them being so loud. I, so many people were yelling my name, mm. chanting it. Yeah. Chanting me, you, you could say. What a feeling. Damn. Damn. What a what feeling. I could have crowd served. Um, okay, so you were pretty pretty messed up. Um, what, uh, Tommy's thoughts, reviews, anything from well, him? Well, <clears throat> before I went up there. Was uh, he in the contest? He could have, was he the other finalist? Was he a little upset there wasn't a mail twerk <laughs> contest? <laughs> right. Like, much like you, twist. he is built also to win a twerk contest. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, it, a lot of ass in the Placus household. Oh, God, yeah. I'm scared to have children because of it. But um, yeah, so before I went up there, you know, for those who don't know, Tommy is my husband. Uh, I just, you oh, know, yeah. gave him a look and I was like, hey, is this cool? Like, you don't care? He's like, you better get up there and do it and you better win or else we're leaving. <laughs> I can't be seen with some loser. Yeah, he was like, if you don't win, I will, bitch. Like, he was, like, getting that Jalen Hurts, and I'm like, who came up to who? But Right. Okay. Well, I'm glad he was He was your biggest supporter. supporter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. And he was, like, he he was also pretty shitty, so he yeah. was like, that's my woman. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so proud. Were the, was, there a, mm-hmm. was there a prize? Just pride? A single shot. Oh, you'd probably need it so, at, at, at around two just o'clock. Pride. Single, yeah. So shot in pride. Um, and then afterwards, I went like down because there's like an underneath bar, like under the stage. Got so pissed, like in a good way, you know. Did a couple pull ups. Mm. Okay. Adrenaline. Wrecked my hands. Wrecked them. Just completely destroyed them. Oh, they how were many did bleeding. You do? I don't even remember how many I did. It seems like you'd have to do a lot to get blisters on the hands there. Hmm. Maybe it, I'm wrong. No, no, no. Well, they no, were probably no. Those blisters. It's just rubbed completely raw, and they were dripping blood. Wow. Oh, They're probably oh. real soft and pruned up from the water. Mm. Mm, there it is. That makes more yep. sense now. I'm just yeah. trying to. I mean, you yeah, you went I, full David Goggins mode in the bar. You were carrying the boats. Yeah, yeah. They got don't yelled know. at by security. They don't know you, son. Yeah, they don't know you, son. Very cool. Good trip. Mm-hmm. Did Paul do anything silly for his birthday? Um, not any. Oh, you know what Paul did do? So when we got back from the pool bars, we were like, the house was on a dock and we all like ran off the dock and just like dived in. It was great. All of us like dropped our stuff on the deck before we ran off the dock. Um, Paul and Tommy, however, did not. So Tommy like took his stuff out of his pockets, put it on like the thing right next to the dock. Paul goes and like whips something open. Tommy's credit card and phone just like take a nosedive right to the bottom of the lake. I 
was obviously drunk and I got so mad, like irrationally mad, honestly, like it was not that serious, but I was so pissed. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And Paul dove down to the bottom of the lake and just picked up the phone and brought it back up. They threw it in some rice and it works perfectly. Beautiful. Credit Love cards it. gone though? Credit, oh, credit got, cards long gone. Oh, okay. I didn't know if he had a uh, phone wallet two in one situation no. there. Nope. It was just raw dogging it on top of the phone. <laughs> eh, they'll send you another one. I yeah. usually just pay with my phone anyway. So who cares? I know. You just tap the phone on. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. Paul simultaneously ruined and then saved the weekend. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Paul and um, I got into a little bit of an argument just about no. him being stupid. Yeah, I mean, that's a Palakis get-together. Yeah, sure. Paul's going to get yelled at. Someone's going to probably start at. crying. It's going to be fine. And it's we not going to be me. No. Never. Never. You're a perfect angel who never makes mistakes and shakes your ass. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, here's Proud a good segue to another question. You guys want another question? Would love one. Oh, I was yeah. going to say we kind of we, we got went from bears to the Ozarks, so um, um, yeah. Go ahead. I don't know. We landed on the bear question. Who? I mean, you know. Um, so it's all it, um, uh, polar. I'm, I'm team polar. It depends on what you. I mean, black fight back. Brown lay down. White say good night is the saying. So brown or black bears are little bitches. So I'm gonna yeah, go. You could have a black bear for a pet. I'm gonna go I'm with brown. Bears. Brown's my favorite. Okay, that's fair. Polar bears, Coca-Cola, though. Yeah, they're mm. mean. They're too mean. Not in the Coca-Cola ads. They like They'll those. eat you. Bobby, I think favorite bear? any bear will eat you. I um, said black bear. Okay, she's black. Okay. Bla okay. okay. Well, we're all different. That's that's yeah. just good podcasting right there. Okay. Uh, this question isn't really for Bobby. Um, it's, what was your first impression, first impression of Bobby whenever you met her? Ooh. <sighs> um... Oh, um, I'm trying to think when. The, I don't the first, remember the first time I met Bobby. To be honest with you, the, I don't think I, I remember think he, an exact time. I do know that she was. Uh, I thought maybe a little questionable allowing Tommy to sleep over on the first date. Mm, he goes I down there. That you told me that spends the whole weekend with her. The Hell first yeah, time. Well, what, who wouldn't? That's all, all I remember. I remember you telling me that story. That um, he came down to stay. I don't remember when you came to Milliken really for the first really? time. Um, it, you did, right? I, I remember. I remember meeting us like outside by like the campfire or something. Like there was like a fire and they were playing washers or whatever. Hmm. At his house. Mm hmm. Milliken. Mm hmm. She must have been not that memorable. Um. Brody, I'm pretty sure I met you, um, not K Grace's, but it was shortly after that. I think we all like went to like Jesse's for like a pool party and all of that. Mm. Played the stump game. I think mm. maybe? I've never been to Jesse's house, so oh, it wasn't so no, it wasn't but you. it was probably a Palakis pool party situation. If I had to guess, because I was probably. not going to Milliken anymore when you started dating Tommy. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it probably I don't took know. us a while to meet. One of my favorite memories I ever. Really, Ooh, had a you know what? Opinion. No, you know what? I think it was Mardi Gras that I met you, Brody. Right? Ooh, it's possible. Probably. Probably so. Um, yeah, I don't remember at a first time, but I do remember one of my favorite memories is when me and Brady lived in that house on BP Street, and you and Tommy stayed there for a weekend oh, with with us. Oh my gosh! And that, I, I think that might be the first time we met. Actually, you think? Would you have stayed with us? Not maybe. I don't know if that was the first right. time. Why, it was why one. Did it you was stay there. It was one of the first times. Because um, Wes was uh, still living at Milliken, getting maybe, his masters. Yeah, but that was, but that was. It was still, New Year's Eve. Oh, is that what it was for? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was finishing up schooling. Brady was teaching. We were. That was right before he left. No, Brady had left, but he still had like two things in his room, so he like still came and stayed with us oh. for one or two nights. Your memory's but better we, than mine. That was fun, though. We were. It was fun, and I just remember you and Tommy farting up a storm all weekend. I don't. I don't bridges. remember that part at all. 
Oh, at she least cleaned. it was. We even got a, like uh, candles. Yeah, it was a. At least it was a very open and large area that we were all in. It, it really wasn't all trapped in there together. That was good. Right. It was good that it was so spacious. <laughs> Not yeah. at all crooked. No, the ceilings were all straight and the floors. It was great. It was a great place. Um, yeah, that was my New Year's Eve was probably the first thing that I think of. One of the first times we met, I would say. It was good. Mm-hmm. This is definitely not the first time we met Bobby. But one of the first like core memories is probably when we went to New Year's in Nashville and stayed at Parker's house. Oh. I think that was like we probably when and we, really we became like friends friends because before that it's like friends girlfriend you're like polite and you're just kind of like hey how's it going good to see you again we don't really know yeah. anything about them you don't really talk to them yeah and right. after that we all got so fucked up and the whole <laughs> that whole day was so fucked up that it uh sort whole of weekend. trauma bonded <laughs> that was fun that might have been one of the first times we were all three hang- hung out together other than maybe like a pool oh, party yeah. Yeah, probably. Perhaps. Good times. Good times. Mm. Great. Never, kids, don't pay for like the fifty dollars VIP New Year's Eve with no. ten thousand people at a place. Don't ever mm. do it. It's no. never bad fun. idea. It's never worth it. You're gonna have to wait in line all night to get a drink. You're not gonna be able to leave whenever you want to leave. You might forget you might... your phone and six hundred dollar camera on the Uber. Perhaps. Perhaps. Could happen. You might end up on a couch in a lobby somewhere just screaming for your friends to show up and crying like a little well, bitch. You were laying on the floor. Well, you know, I think I was close to a couch at least. I don't know. We were on the stairs. You were like mm. laying on the floor in front of the stairs. Well, my memory is obviously really strong and I was <laughs> very uh anyway. Um <laughs> Yeah, that didn't really wasn't a great answer to your question, no. but you know, it ended up with some fun, some fun, fun banter, stories. which is all these questions are for. Here's a question that may actually be a good question. Worst financial decision you've ever made or have witnessed someone else make? Mm. Worst huh. financial decision. I luckily ever. don't have any that have really handicapped mm. me in any way. I haven't no. made I I haven't really made a big purchase in my entire life, if I'm being totally honest. Hmm. Never bought a house. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know the first thing that came to my mind? Kind of as a joke, but not. And you can relate to this. Um, betting on the Chiefs when they got their ass kicked by the, <laughs> yeah. by the Buccaneers that, in the Super Bowl. Damn. That might be true. I lost a lot of money, and I that didn't so have a stupid. job, and I didn't necessarily have that money to lose, but I did. Yeah. That, that was dude. gone. That was not tight. That was not a fun Super Bowl. Um. You could just blanket just sports betting in general as a bad financial decision. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you're Ooh. paying paying it's for fun. fun. It's fun. fun though. Um, I've got it. Just going to college in general. Um, yeah. That's tough. Mine, I remember it specifically what I was going to say. Hold on. Just lost for a second. Oh, nope. There it is. I did um, one of those. I think I said it on the podcast before, so it's not weird, but the boudoir like photo shoots i did mm. one of those for tommy for the wedding as yeah. thinking like oh this will be such a cool gift whatever like price shopped around and i felt like i found someone that was good it ended up costing me two thousand dollars what that's expensive yeah and i like hate the photos and i i feel like tommy like doesn't really like not that he doesn't appreciate it because it's like they're hot photos whatever but like if he knew that that's how much it costs he would fucking shit his pants i also don't in 2023 i do agree it's a good idea what are we doing like he's not going to world war ii like what is he get what that. are we actually doing with is, the photos once we have the them, point you know? So it's like kind of a fun gift idea that like it's just always kind of been a thing for like women to do almost like a bridal portrait, but like sultry. So it's like bridal portraits, whatever. So I made like a hardback like book thing for it. And I like really wanted to make like a mini calendar or something for like the but yeah, I'm like, no, when's I, he gonna I crack get, that open? Yeah, I'm saying like you know when I mean? he's not like <laughs> but putting it, he's not like putting it in his garage or like showing it off to his friends. That's you. I well, mean, 
like it's... maybe when he has like his own office like at our like next house or whatever like i'll throw it on like a beer poster a little beer poster yeah so like my mom's my mom's are hanging in her master bathroom okay so they're fine for like everyone else to see it's fine like i thought it was i guess just not like a... a lot of people go into her master I mean, yeah. she's not like her nipples aren't out. Yeah, I I, I would do all... that with mine. I have one that's like artsy that you can't really tell. Like it's me that I'm like, oh, I could print that and like throw it somewhere and like no one would ever know and it could be kind of funny. Hmm. But yeah, it was a lot of money. Yeah, it's a I nice like felt I mean, sick over it. It's a nice. You could like watched a YouTube tutorial and had one of your friends come over with the iPhone. Hey, just, if we're being totally off. Yeah, just have, I know. Just have Brody. Uh, edit it and put, you know airbrush it up a little bit. <laughs> hey, edit. <laughs> hey, Brody, edit these fucking. Nudes <laughs> yeah, someone's edit. gonna sin. Okay. Sending some tasteful nudes in. to my fiance. Okay, I guess. <sighs> yeah. All it, it co- was. All it cost was a. a Instagram one share, share on Instagram. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter post. Yeah, oh, definitely. I'm trying to think of some dumb shit I've bought. No, I mean. I don't buy anything. I mean, I, for, I don't buy anything. I buy a shitload of like small dumb shit, like an insane amount. I waste money all the time, but nothing that is like of note. That's a huge purpose purchase. Well, I mean, Wes, have you? Per- the question was, have you done anything or witnessed someone do something mm, really dumb? Yeah. So have you witnessed? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, man, it's hard to think of on top of my head. Hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I nothing jumps I to mind. Like I unfortunately, just, I just I know people that have been the type of people that do not have the money to like start like six different businesses and all the businesses fail. I don't really want to bring those stories up specifically because the people will probably know that they're who I'm mm. talking about. I don't know if those people listen, but my mom was telling me a story about some people that I know from Shelbyville this weekend. I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck are you doing? But get it together, bruv. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't shouldn't be doing all that. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I had a better answer. I we have just we have a just a frugal group of friends. We don't really I'm trying to think of some. I don't spend excessive money. I feel like I I like think things through pretty because I'm like I'm frugal when it's my own money. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. So. I'll just make an excessive amount of like stupid. I'll buy like a bunch of like fifty dollar things that I don't need. You know what I mean? Right. I'll just buy a shitload of those, and it just adds up to the points. Like this is dumb. I should. I waste out. so much money on food. Like I was gonna yeah. say food, was trying... but like I, you can justify that. I don't. I guess to that you can justify it, but we. I can't Ooh. justify getting like forty dollars worth of sushi delivered to my house. <laughs> I got drunk this weekend and bought tickets to Lil Baby on Thursday. I don't really want <laughs> that's, to go to that. That's but. Dude, <laughs> you go to so many concerts. I know. Like, you're going to break Lil a Baby, record. Though. I do love Lil Baby, but I have a bad feeling he is not it's gonna going to be, be a great concert. Horrible. Yeah, yeah I think it's going to be, be good, bad. Probably. I hope, Brant- I hope Brantley Gilbert opens for him. That would be mm. a fun twist. <laughs> That'd be a great fun, crowd. Fun twist. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for the questions, guys. Um, I got to tell you the story about my girlfriend's 10-year high school reunion. So the story starts out, we went home this weekend, or we went to Shelbyville, my hometown this weekend, just to go to my mom's house, hang out by the pool, have a nice relaxing weekend. Didn't really have any plans, just wanted to chill out. Um, Friday, we had some friends over. I cooked some tacos. Like I said, we had a good night. We had a few drinks, whatever. She wakes up Saturday and she tells me, Hey, just realized my high school graduation is today. It's not next weekend. Um, so that was a rough, her um, high school graduation. Yeah. Graduation. Reunion. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Very well, topical right yeah. now. Shout out Wander Franco. Yeah. Bad guy. Um, yeah, graduation, not, not graduation reunion. Sorry. 10 year reunion. Sorry. Um, so what a happy coincidence that was. Yeah. The fact she was at near where she was going was a good coincidence, but also just a brutal thing to wake up hungover to realize you have to go oh. to your high school 10 year reunion that you're like halfway sort of planning also. 
Um, so she had to like rearrange her entire day. She had nothing to wear. So like my mom gave her clothes. She had to go home and get clothes from her sister to try to find something to wear. She had to organize like a bunch of balloons and figure out some flowers and stuff. How did she fuck up the dates yeah. that bad? That's a great Michaela. question. That's Ouch. a great bad, question. She just put you. it in her calendar on the wrong Michaela. day. She just didn't know. I, <laughs> Oops. I obviously never said this to her, but I just I don't even understand how it's possible that you could <sighs> fuck that up and forget that to that degree. But well, she did. She wasn't like partly planning it. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But the fact that she had to bring like balloons. She had to bring stuff. She, you know, hmm. she called ahead and like arranged things to be set up and brought to this place. Um, so anyway, she goes through the whole thing and, you know, everything goes off. The thing gets planned. She shows up. She has something to wear. Um, so she graduated. I don't know. Like she's from a small town like me. She graduated, with, I don't know, 75 to 80 kids, pretty small class. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I think like four of them, uh, your, uh, your, you know, class council president yeah. whatever the four of them officers sure they planned it so it's the four of them they show up and they're there one person came besides the four of them there were five total people there after oh, they no. all went through all that they rented out a room they had tablecloths and flowers and balloons and food and they were paying a bartender one person showed up oh boy oh my God, how did they like, did they all five just split it or four split it? Uh, or, like, well, hours? That's the other thing. A bunch of people like pitched in and paid ahead and then just didn't come. They all think it's a next bunch. weekend too. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What I don't if know. the date's wrong on like the Facebook group or something? Mm, probably. I mean, there was I mean, guy, the, the one the guy girls... that came, came from Texas. Oh my God. To, to I mean, Spice Reunion, the only guy that showed up. God, what a buzzkill that was for him showing fuck? up to five people, four people. He's like, God, I mean, if the, missed me so much. If the person planning it got it mixed up, I mean, maybe there was. Well, she little... was not in charge of invites or the venue. She was just basically in charge of decorating. That was pretty much the only thing that she was okay. responsible for. Uh, the invite was via a Facebook group. The, according to her, there was, you know, some, you know, seemed like people were coming. Some people Venmoed. The guy ahead Dude. of time saying they were coming and they just didn't come. They have the that date wrong. That is, I, Maybe I got really, the date wrong. I don't know. I feel like people have to have the date wrong. Tell That's what I'm saying. It Facebook seems, page. I, I have to imagine when they were sitting there all night that one of them looked at that. Maybe I'm wrong, but man, um, oh, or like tested someone awesome. like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I, Where are you I guess they were like, <laughs> They said it started at four, and they basically guilted one of the five people there to be like, "Hey, see everyone at six. Uh, see everyone here, just to see if anyone would say anything." No one did. No wow. one came. Wow, which that is, is hilarious. Wild. <laughs> what was her class office? What was she? Uh, I don't know. Secretary? I don't know. I have no idea. She was not the president. I don't know. Nice. One of the I was Prezi. I was a class uh, secretary. Uh, I didn't yeah. do shit. We didn't nice. have. That. Ever, uh, I don't know why we didn't have that, but we didn't have that. Um, Are you sure? I got my invite to ours, so that'll be that'll be a thing. I'm that supposed I to be planning it, and I didn't do anything. Nice. Hopefully, we Everyone do more than five. Them. We'll see. Yeah, that's tough. Was she I like think a, I know at least that's three. Brutal. Uh, at, at least, least four that are going. It so. sounds like she right. was. Uh, she was at least excited about it, other than like forgetting it. it sounds like she was excited. Yeah, to go. I mean, she was. Or no, I don't know. She was like thrilled to go, but I, you know, I think she, she was there. I don't know. She was willing to help, I guess. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. She wouldn't do anything that she didn't like want to kind of do, you know? No. And I think her, the other officers are like the only really people that she still talks to from high school. So it'd be kind of awkward if like her only actual friends, she just didn't show up. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a fun little nightmare story. That is wild. Good story. Absolutely Pretty, wild. I got the nice out that oh, I don't have anything to wear. Can't go. Sorry, oh, babe. So that's that's oh, you didn't nice. go? No. Me and my mom watched the entire first season of The Bear. It was delightful. Hell nice. yeah. Okay. And we went to go see Barbie. So long day of watching Aww. stuff. Did nice. she like it? 
She did. The theater we went to was gross and smelled bad. So that was a bit of a turn off. Very anti Barbie. Yeah. It was like I was in the real world part of Barbie. You know what I'm saying? Am I right, folks? That have you seen were in Barbie? a Mojo Dojo Casa. Yeah. I was in a Mojo Dojo Casa <laughs> house. It really was not good. Uh, you guys got to watch The Bear. It's fucking incredible. I finished the whole first two seasons in two days. It is. I've heard it's really good. A1. I should probably do that. Excellent Tell me, stuff. pitch me, pitch meeting right now on The Bear. Pitch The Bear to me. What do we got? Um, Biggest chef in the world. He wins best chef in the world at like 22 years old. Guy from Chicago. His brother owns an Italian beef restaurant. Kills himself. He has to leave the big restaurant. Go take over this shitty little Italian beef restaurant in Chicago. Tries to fix it up. Um, A fun, colorful cast of characters uh, come together to make this restaurant work. A thing happens at the end of the first season. They eventually turn it into like a more upscale restaurant in the second season. And it's sort of the story of these like sort of scumbag low lifes turning into like fine dining restaurant people basically okay that's the quick very thing. up your alley i would say i'd say that it is super chicago like wes all the characters are like yeah that's just those are guys oh. from chicago there's the one guy like the un, not the lead but probably the second build guy just the best character in a show i've seen in a long time it is so chicago it fucking hurts oh man wow. all right fantastic i got a lot of i got a lot of shit to watch my god I 30 just... minute episodes so that makes that's it a good. Easier. That's good. Um, I am not proud to admit that I have, um, like the rest of the world. I don't know if I've mentioned on this podcast. I am currently watching Suits. Okay, that, that seems like a West show. It, it seems up your alley. Uh, Do you like it's, it? It's fine. I've watched. There are probably ten or twelve episodes a season, so I've watched roughly thirty ish episodes. They're all the same. They're every episode it's, is yeah, the I, same. Very yeah, easily watch. watched, it sounds like. I I mean, I've watched 30 episodes. I've watched like 75% of all of those, like falling asleep or like doing dishes or something. Mm. It's a very much a background show. It's a, a very much a just Anyone down know the why, middle lawyer show. What happened? Why has that come back to the forefront? Is, why, are, why is everyone watching it now? It was put on Netflix and then pushed really hard by Netflix. So why? Everyone, everyone's I'm, watching it. I'm got. It's, I got a. I got a. What's the? Everything who's, else. Who's the prince? What's her name? Meg, who's Meghan in the Markle. show? Meghan Markle. Um, my conspiracy hats on. Something's up there. She's. She's. Yeah, maybe. She's involved. She's doing. Um, it. She's pulling. It's very rooms. much. Deep it's state. very much. Um, like lawyer. Um, like scumbag. You lied to me. Tell the truth. Mm. Fuck Betrayal. I can't believe you went behind my back. I thought I could trust you. Everyone's really hot and in suits and tight dresses. It's mm. it's very garbage. It's easy to watch. It's <clears throat> sounds know. like my cup of tea. It's fine. It's fine. I'm watching it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I probably better. won't watch nah, it ever. I wouldn't recommend. There's like nine seasons and they're like I'll never watch it. It's a f- like fifty minute episode. It's a lot. Will not watch it. It's a lot. Sorry, to, sorry, Suits Nation. Um, quarterback Joe Burrow mm. is going to be on season two. We're going to have to talk about it. Season one, I've seen one episode. I'm pretty sure as a fairly uh, fairly big football fan that I'm not going to gain a lot of insight into that. No. But people that don't know, I mean, it might be kind of interesting. I, I picked like three of the most boring people to fucking do it. Patrick Mahomes is like the best quarterback that ever lived, but is as generic a guy as you could imagine he's he's got a fucking you know annoying wife and Mm -hmm. just all three of these guys all they can talk about is football they have nothing else basically in their lives that seems to interest them at all so it's a little repetitive um i feel like i'm gonna feel the exact same way as i did about the full swing golf thing like yeah Yeah, it's very similar I, i already know i already know i follow it like it's one of my biggest hobbies i i know it's like I don't. I, I guess think, that they're all mic'd up. I think I'll for probably every, like it. Yeah, you probably will. Um, it's a lot of stuff about their families, which is you know kind of nice. I, I guess. really like. I really liked Last Chance You, and I don't even really like football, so I'm like, oh, I'll probably like it because I'll learn a little bit more about football, but also like I like, I like the personalities. You I know? think Last Chance You has more like drama going on than this. Like this, it's very. 
Like the drama is like what happens in the football games, which to you and even to me is like, who really gives a fuck at the end of the day? Like nothing incredible. But I won't know who wins. No, that's true. true. But nothing true. incredibly interesting happens in their actual lives, really. They're all just millionaires that are like complaining about, oh, I threw some interceptions. That sucked. I didn't who like do you, that. Who do you want to see? I think Burrow was probably one of the bigger names on there. Yeah, even him. Him. Like he's hot and cool, but I can't I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's, he's going to be, be very interesting. interesting. No. Um, I would I love wait. to see what Lamar Jackson's doing. That guy seems kind of like an odd bird. I'd love to see what he's got going on off the field. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, to be an NFL quarterback, you have to be so focused and so uh, able to eliminate everything else in your life that there's really mm-hmm. not a chance that you can be a good NFL think... quarterback and have a lot of outside interests. I think, uh, I think Russell Wilson would be... Mm. for good some really good content some good clips yeah that's um, true he's married to like a supermodel singer or whatever that's kind of cool but he's i mean i'm not really interested in him but he would say some weird shit probably um josh allen's kind of funny but in yeah. just like a very normal guy kind of way he's uh he's dating a celebrity now so maybe that would that's be that's true that's true shout that out josh be interesting allen. i mean Obviously, Joe Burrow is the only one I'm interested in. Would be pretty good. He would never let them do that. Although he lets them mic him up for everything in Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks fucking sucks now. It's so boring. Yeah, yeah, it is. When's the when episodes come out for that? Uh, Sundays. I think they've had two, two, maybe three. Two. It'd be two now. Three. I've watched the first two. I haven't watched. Oh wait, so Joe, so Joe Burrow's on like the season already. No, no, they're filming him this year. This They'll season. be filming him during this season. Yeah. Okay. And then next yeah. year it'll come out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Man, looking at... It's going to look great. I would have loved to get Deshaun Watson like three or four years ago. Whew. That could have been interesting. <laughs> Yikes. Some lawsuits could get a... Uh, Who'd get be resolved, the worst on there? I think, I think Justin Daniel Herbert, Jones. Did, Justin Herbert would be pretty bad. Yeah, Daniel um, Jones would be pretty bad. I mean, yeah, all of very, these are all just the most generic white guys. Every single one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. I, I think, don't know very many uh, football players, but Jalen Hurts, just seeing him after how sassy he was in the one interview. He would probably be pretty good. He'd be good. He'd be good, yeah. He'd be good. He's like one of the few guys that actually has a personality that plays quarterback. Those yeah. guys nice. do not. Do not. All right. Um, you want to draft some shit? Anyone else have anything else? A um, uh... couple things. I did have a question that was not formally submitted, but we did have a viewer Um ask a question about advice starting a podcast. And I told them we're probably not the source to go to um, anything Brody from your end, technically setup wise, any advice um, starting a podcast? I would say one, get video figured out for the first show. Like I would very much encourage having video, not just audio. Yeah, I think have video. Um, don't invest crazy in the equipment. The equipment no. matters a little bit. Like maybe a webcam and like a sixty-five to a hundred dollar mic. If you got money to spend, by all means, get like the the good shit. But don't record on like your computer audio. That's that's not great. Yeah. Um. Good one. Schedule say- schedule when you're going to record well ahead of time, so you don't end up day of being like oh, I can't because neither of the people that are going to be on the show are probably going to be doing it for a living. So they got their real lives. So make sure very tough that out. I think having some sort of document where you're bouncing ideas off each other to decide what you think would be good, what you think won't be good. Yeah. It's a Not necessarily one. picking a lane, but picking some sort of don't just be like, yeah, we just kind of talk about everything. It's just, you know, to our detriment, sometimes we do that on this show, but but you it's know. fun. It is fun. I like it. It's tough. It's tough to. There's also so many. don't. F- well, I think more of the point is like don't feel the need to talk about something that you really have no opinion on just because other people are talking about it. I guess. Yeah, that's good. Because that leads good to one. pretty bad podcasting. You're like Lizzo's in the news. I have nothing to say about it, but she's in the news, so let's just talk about Lizzo. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, it's tough to do. Try to find a way to be different, you know, if you can. It's there's so many podcasts, it's really tough. But try to If you think of anything somewhere. that if you figure it out, I mean, we obviously we're not Yeah, we don't know what the fuck. We're just we're, we're, we're making zero dollars doing this, so Yeah. Yeah, um, correct. 
Correct. Shits yeah, and gigs. Cool. My favorite um, saying. Let's draft some shit. All right. MTV shows. No restrictions of any kind. Nothing Fuck is no. off limits. Okay. Just no want to make sure. Because, you know, there's lots of different types of You content. can't right, hold me back. I, oh man. I have just a hodgepodge here. I don't really have them ranked. I got tiers, baby. I got five tiers. All right, Bobby, oh what pick God. would you Get like? Get a fucking life. No. You're kidding. No. I'm going number one. Wow. I'm ha- Honestly, I'm happy about that. That's fine. I did not want to pick one. Wow, really? I don't, because I don't know what to pick. Wow. Well, I don't think you can go person. wrong. Um, I'll go three. Okay. Meaning just, Wes will pick second. I just didn't want one. All right. Let's draft some shit. Bobby, what do you got? First pick. I'm so right. excited for I, this. I think that there is a very obvious number one pick. Really? I'm going Jersey Shore, mm. babe. I thought, I thought you would bad. take that. I thought you would take that. Texas on a quee. Texas on a quee. Has Was any that? MTV show been Absolutely. a bigger cultural phenomenon? It's close probably i i, th- mm, I think we can talk what about i hope it. falls to me well yeah it's yeah it's a hard discussion to have after the first overall pick mm, god it's so hard um oh my god it's so fucking hard um low it west well i mean oh first of all was that in your tier one brody yes okay yes it was god favorite jersey short character og season Snooky. Mm, yeah. Just because yeah. she's like such a train wreck, I feel like it kind of allowed all of them to Man, let their freak flag fly. Big of a thing. She like she they had Snooky in an episode of fucking South Park. I don't it know. Be a pretty big I, deal to be I will say South Park. I was not watching at the beginning. I watched I caught up and watched like towards the end as I was older. So I did not watch from the very beginning. Um Yeah, I don't so I, think I think I watched probably the last half of the first season live, caught up, and then the second season. Reality TV stars used to be so much bigger because there wasn't, you know, influencers and stuff. So like, she was like uh, like a really big reality. Who's the other guy's name? Mike, Polly, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. I was thinking of it. Ronnie, Ronnie Ronnie and Sam, Vinny. Uh, The letter? Are you kidding? The note? The letter? What do they call it? The letter? The letter. I think. Good stuff. God. J Wow, what a fucking what a show! Podcast. What a show! Dynamite. Oh my god! I mean, god. the genius is just like these fucking gabagool fucking, fucking greaseballs. Balls. Just throw them in a house, get them fucked up, and roll Give the kid of his baby. fucking self tanner. Oh yeah! God, so good. All right, um, I'm stalling. We enough I'm for you. stalling. Oh man, I want like five picks. I'm gonna go. So I pick three. It's my. I think it's my personal favorite and i believe it'll be in your tier one i think it should be in everyone's i'm gonna go with punked mm, yeah pretty good it was tier one for me i'm gonna go with definitely punked. in tier one punked is a great one especially any favorite for gaffs any favorite dude. any favorite bits Ooh. um I just saw a clip of one actually the other day of when they punked a, a young Justin Bieber and he started fighting kids. That was a good one. I remember it's a really that good one. one. Um, it's a great one. They got, they got Shaq a couple times. That was pretty good. Um, the best ones are people that are like so mild mannered and like not huge personalities that they get to freak out. It's the best. Mm-hmm. God, it's the best. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Oh, I love punked. Yeah. I watched so much punked. So that's my pick. An absolute fantastic. Shout out to Ashton Kutcher. Oh, man. Mm, I know what you're going to pick, Brody. This might, I might have got my number one and number two picks right here with with my third, with my number three overall pick. I, oh. I had two others in consideration for the first pick. Mm, there's, I'm between one. Okay. First pick, for sure taking this, Jackass. Got to do it. Incredible show. Absolutely essential to my childhood. At the time, I'd probably never seen anything funnier in my entire life. And even watching it back now, almost all of it holds up. I think just boys being boys. I think that has an argument with like cultural impact alongside Jersey Shore. One of the others that you could argue. For sure. 
For sure. Speaking of golf, I mean, the bit where they're pl- <laughs> blowing the air horn when those guys are teeing off, and they get these random guys to just turn around and start hitting golf balls into the woods at him. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. That's, oh, my God. You cannot beat that. It's so good. Beat that. It's so good. When he turns to tee it up at him, and he still does yeah. it when he hits it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's good shit. That was, of course, one of my options for my second pick. So good. Okay. Um, Between two here, I got to go the real world. I got to go the real world. It's a great pick. Great show. Uh, Cultural impact. That's no none of the other ones. Another one. Good vote is one of the greatest. Um, Just want to reassure. I don't know if you guys are going to, but I think the offshoots of the real world are still eligible. Um, in case yeah. you want to pick those, just yeah, just to clarify that, I would agree. So, awesome. thanks for your permission. Yeah, All appreciate right, Wes, that. You are up. So that was not in consideration for me. I obviously on my list, not in consideration for my second pick for this, for the second pick overall. So I'm happy, but now I have a choice between the other two that I was thinking of, mm. and I'm gonna go. There's so many good ones. It's kind of yeah. crazy. I'm gonna Even go, the really bad ones towards the bottom. Oh, are yeah. Good. Like maybe some are of good. the most enjoyable. I want to go with MTV Cribs, though. Ah! Going with, going with Cribs. All right. Favorite Cribs episode. Mm. I don't even know. I mean, one of the saddest ones that as a kid I thought was sick, but I didn't realize was Steve O's because he is so fucked up and like so mm-hmm. strung out. And his mm-hmm. basically, he has an apartment in LA that has a fucking mini ramp that it's just a skate park that he built into like a small apartment. It's fucking yeah, insane. It is a big time drug addict behavior, but it's stuck in my brain. I think a lot of the musicians or like rappers were always really cool. They had some wild mm-hmm. shit a lot of the times. Um, a lot of the rappers remember... had like the exact same house. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember JoJo's and I don't know if you guys remember JoJo's like it was like right when she got big and she just had like this small little condo in Florida and I remember watching it being like she's fucking broke. <laughs> this bitch like, why, poor. Would, why would they yeah. let her? Why would you let them film this? Literally. Yeah. But that's like the most memorable for me personally. Good one. Good one. I'm trying to think of a. It was like um, I would actually give away a pick, so I can't. I won't say that one. But I think one of the guys from Good Charlotte had like a really weird, fucked up castle or something. It was like all gothic shit inside. And That's cool. very bizarre. That checks out. That's cool. Good yeah, Charlotte. It does. What a band. Yeah. All right, Bobby. You have back to back picks. Ah. Okay. So I feel like. God, there's so uh, many good shows. There's so <laughs> many good ones. It's like I personally think the bad ones, like the number five picks, are probably going to be like just as good as the number one picks. God. But I can't wait for the honorable mentions. To be honest with you. Um. Okay. So for the number two, I'm going Laguna Beach just mm. because I I didn't miss an episode. That was like my shit growing up. I just remember binge watching it. <laughs> Oh. So you're Laguna Beach over the other show that is very similar to Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach came first, so yeah. yes, okay. I, I think okay. that was more more in my realm. Sure. Um, okay, hold on. I I think I will just a couple things on that. I think I'm partial. I don't think I'll take it. I think I'm partial to the other one, more of a an LC guy myself, and yeah, I don't also, have much of a preference or really ability to discern which is which to be honest with you also um i wrote down uh, of course it was on my list and i was looking for it just to mark it off and i've actually autocorrected to latina beach so that's That's something that we could fund and get going that's a different similar to jersey shore we get latina beach that's a different show similar that group of seems, fiery ethnic folks you know that seems absolutely fantastic just oh my show. gosh I'm really struggling here on my next one. I have like three that I could, I would be down for, but God. okay. It's fucking hard. Okay. I'm going. Oh gosh. It's gotta be 16 and pregnant. Oof. 
There's been so many quotable moments. You're hanging out with Kifa. Like, I feel like I still. Is that. I, I don't want to give away a pick. Is that in Teen Mom? Are those different things? That or came is, first. 16 and Pregnant 16, came first. Is the yeah. OG. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that was, I had Teen Mom as my, then, I didn't realize that was, okay. It's the, yeah, it's the was, Laguna Beach to the hills. Yeah, because it's like after they were on Teen Mom and they decided if they were going to keep the baby or not, you know, then they could like be on Teen Moms or whatever. Yeah. Um, I no, so six. Yeah. I, show. I mean, incredible show. I was now I was not going to pick it just because I didn't watch the show. It was not really my cup of tea. Not really for me. Probably I don't know. I, I was never really watching it, so I, I was feel not going like to pick it. It was like. It was like a cultural moment. Like all parents were talking yeah. about it, freaking out. Like, it was like that and Jersey Shore were the same time. And it was, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, very big. Yeah. Some great <clears throat> I wasn't watching it. Fucked so up. Wasn't gonna that pick on it. TV. <laughs> now I really wanted you. Would you pick two? You did, right? Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted you to eliminate one so I would make my pick easier, but maybe Brody mm-hmm. won't take it. Maybe Brody won't take it. I'm going to go. pick mine. I'm going to go with Pimp My Ride. Ooh, yeah. Man, what a X strange to the show. Z. Absolutely one. Hey, do you want a fucking fish tank in your trunk? Sure. You got a fucked up car. We're going to fuck it up even worse, but in a nice way. We're going to get your ass yeah. kicked in the streets. We're going to take your yeah. undrivable car, and it'll still be undrivable after. Yeah. But you'll just get robbed. <laughs> you'll have a PlayStation 2 in the back, though. Yeah, yeah. You don't have a PlayStation 2 in your house. You're going to have to go no. out in your yard to fucking play PS2. Yeah. But Let's put a fucking ping pong table under this hood. Yeah. Go and now that I'm older, I realize all that shit was fake. None of those people were driving those cars. No. All those people were actors. No. But I did not realize that until right now. I mean, there were some of those cars. There's like, yeah, I don't have any doors on my car. There's no doors. There's no mm. windows. And it just got like, so fucking agree. It just got so out of hand. It was like it did you just hand. giving people like monster trucks back with like a basketball court in it. It's just like what the fuck? I just gotta get to work. I gotta drive. Let's do a quick, do a quick craziest pimp my ride car. Pimp my ride cars. Let's take a little. <laughs> this guy has a hearse or has a hearse that has a cat scan in the back of the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> they get like they no. get they take like two or three notes. So they're like, tell me about it. They take like two or three notes, and then just like, like, well, fuck what, you, fuck what you're into. So wild. This guy has a hearse that you pull a coffin out, and the coffin is a barbecue grill. Shut <laughs> up. Uh, uh, truck with mud flaps, and the mud flaps have LCD TVs on them. If you want to watch TV yeah. on your mud Perfect. flaps on your truck, yeah, hell yeah. Awesome. Chandelier inside of the car <clears throat> seems impractical. Seems like I'm going to be blocking my rear view mirror. Seems like um, that could hurt if you get into an accident. This is foul. There's a chocolate fountain in this car. That's delicious. Disgusting. Delicious. Again, mm, you want my car you want. chocolate? <laughs> Again, exhibit. I just, I just need to get to work in the morning. Yeah. Just need maybe. You just, just buy me a new Honda car. Civic. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. And all the people are like, "Oh, this is so sick." Dude. He's like, tell me one thing about yourself. I don't know. I like birds. We put a bird sanctuary in the back of your car. I don't like hey. that much. I don't know about yeah. That. Oh, it's, it's good bad. stuff. It's good stuff. This guy's got a juicer in the back of his car. Yeah. Well, Fireplace. That seems well, unsafe. That, probably. probably not next to the fuel. Fish tank. Classic. Hot tub. You know. I can do that in my pickup truck with, you know, give me a nice Throw little some tarp out. Yeah. Yeah. Go a tarp. Anyways, that show was fucking unhinged and it was in terrarium. Those animals are dead. Yeah. Very crack a window at night. Satellite dish for, I don't know why. To watch the, yeah. To watch what the a big fucking game. What, what a, a bizarre game. wild show. Yep. Shout out exhibit. Um, okay. Your turn, Brody. Okay. God, um, don't you dare let this get back to me. Don't do it. Huh. I wonder what you're I, thinking. Well, you'll know in two picks. I maybe. think I think I know. I think I know what Wes is thinking. Huh. I don't know. Okay. My next pick. Now we wait. One of the greats in MTV reality slash game show content. Room Raiders, baby. What a strange oh. fucking idea for a show. 
What a twisted, weird concept. Who came up with that? What kind of fucking sick pervert pitch room raiders? All actors again, but it's just yeah. absolutely fantastic. We yeah. kidnapped a bunch of people and went through all their shit. <laughs> sick show. Great show. Sick Lit. show. Um, based on Wes's reaction, I don't think that's what he was going to nope. take. Great huh. show. On my okay. list. Excellent show. Complete garbage. I got another tier two that I think neither of you are going to take, so I'm going to hold off on taking that. Oh, my next pick... I'm going to go from the heart here. I'm going to go maybe my most watched of all these shows, a show that I've watched every episode many, many a time. That is better than the offshoot. I'm going Robin Big. No! Yes! Oh. Yes! Got his ass. Robin fucking Big. Rob Deerdeck. Big Black. Rest in peace. Just hanging Ooh. out at the house, getting into shenanigans every single day. With meaty. Honestly, I had this epiphany today. Rob Deerdeck, Mr. Beast before Mr. Beast. Thoughts? Yeah. Kind of. I, I, I could see that. Kind of. It's very oh similar vibe. That fucking show. It was like the, it was the, it was like a stranglehold on 13 year old boys. A yeah. stranglehold. Yeah. How did it make it this far? I don't know. Uh, I mean, what is the idea for that show? Like, what are you even, it's, it's like, like, yeah, me and my bodyguard it, just, do stupid shit. That's it's like, like the whole show. It's like, been... um, it's like L.A. skaters, like Seinfeld. It's just they're not doing anything. Kinda. They're just like, yeah, just whatever the day brings with my mini horse. Oh my god, his brother. Drama. He's got like a entrepreneur podcast now, which is funny. Go off, King. All right. Wow. Um, Wes, I'm, in, I'm back uh, to you. I'm in shambles with that. I don't. I don't like how that just played out. Mm. <clears throat> I like the way my board's shaping out so far. Uh, I don't like what has happened there. I will take... Oh, there's going to be so many good ones that don't get picked. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. How many picks? Are, uh, one, two more? You have two more, Wes. Interesting. Okay. I'll go... I'll go with uh, Wild and Out. Mm. Nick Cannon. Fucking sketch comedy. Sketch comedy. Improv comedy. But make I'm it talented black. folks. What, and, <laughs> yeah, and make it black. <laughs> it's just black whose line is it anyway? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, that is... That should be the tagline. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very funny. A lot of really funny people have come from that show. A lot of, a lot Matt of Reif. Yeah. He's yeah. taking the world by storm these days. He was wow. I didn't there. realize that he was on there. Yeah. He was on like, well, I didn't realize while Nat was still on, but apparently it has been the last like couple of years and he was on it then, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Last two picks, Bobby. Last two. I feel so torn because I feel like there are so many that are about at the same level that I feel like are so good that just follow your heart. I, I gotta, I, I was going to say, I'm going to have to have some personality picks here. No bad okay. picks. Yeah, there really are no bad picks, but I'm, I'll be so offended if you guys don't like this one. Okay. Next silent library. Hmm. Good, good concept. Show. Good show. Funny concept. It's a little, maybe it's not upsetting. A lot of these shows are just like YouTube channels now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Or like I watch clips of them still on like TikTok. Yeah. Watching yeah. people try not to laugh and then laugh is just always funny. Yeah. When you're not, it's always most the funniest of the, when you're not supposed to laugh. Most of the bits and the challenges aren't that funny. It's just the people's reactions is really the only yeah. thing. Right. Good. Because you know, like when you start laughing a lot and then it's like something like not funny just like keeps making you laugh because you like know you're not supposed to. I feel like that show would like bring, I, I would just like watch it and like laugh even if it was like so stupid because it's like, it's funny. Mm -hmm. it makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Laughter is contagious. A lot of people say yeah, that. Yeah, people forget it. All right, last Fuck. pick. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between like three of them right now. I have to go with one that. Oh, it's so 
This is tough. Fuck. Okay, I'm going parental control. Mm. Yeah. No, they're just batshit fucked up crazy idea for a show. Yeah, and really good. Even when I was in fourth grade, absolutely insane that I did not realize those people are all actors. I know, but it's just and so bad fucking ones. good. Very bad at it. Bad actors. Terrible actors. Really. The Awful. parents were the best part in like the pre-show interviews. So good. Oh, God. So <laughs> fucking good. This guy's a total piece of shit with no prospects and no job, but for whatever reason, we're going to put him on a game show to make sure to see if my daughter is still going to date him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really great stuff. Very Room Raiders of you to take parental control. There, there was a block of shows that are just, just yeah. cut from the same cloth. There's a, there's yeah. one more in that in that. Uh, oh yeah, there is. House. I'm not going to take it, but it's on my list. Okay. We all know it. I know. Maybe the most funny and fucked of the three. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, pretty good. You, you could pretty good. I could make a. Um, I won't leave without one of my favorite characters. I I'm taking Fantasy Factory. I'm not. Nice. Leaving, I'm not leaving without him. Hey, I'm not leaving. Honestly, I think as think good. I think they're as they're good. pretty different shows, kind of. I mean, same concept. I but, think you know, so. Whole different cast, other than Rob, basically. It doesn't have Big um, Black, which is a huge strike against. But, but the the bits and the stuff is big. This is a little more Mr. Beast than Rob. Yeah, was. Uh, this is yeah. really on his Mr. Sure. Beast shit, dude. That when they're playing dodgeball and he hits Chanel West Coast in that face with that dodgeball, <laughs> and then. Picks one up and kicks it into her face is one of the funniest <laughs> clips on the internet ever. It is so yeah. funny. Damn. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty, he just punched that ball good. right into her face. So good. Oh, oh man. Hmm. Great stuff. Yeah. Finish it off. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go, go with, I think, a personality pick. Uh, a show that I watched when I was a little kid that was very funny. It was on late at night and it felt like I shouldn't be watching it. Hmm. Uh, I'm going with Celebrity Deathmatch, baby. Hmm. Celebrity okay. fuck Deathmatch. Yeah, Hard to be. It's yeah. very, you know, it it's definitely it. a boy show. You're like, oh my God, Paris Hilton's getting her arms ripped off or something. You know, it's, it's, uh, oh, yeah. Many times. yeah, I was never really that into it, but I get it. I've I enjoyed it. it. Funny concept, un, pretty strange that anyone gave them the right or allowed them to make that show. It seems like it's yeah. impossible. You could not, not in like, oh, everyone gets canceled, but like, I feel like publicists would be like, no, I'm not going to like brutally murder a version of a famous person on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but a uh, weird. as a 13 year old boy, that was pretty fucking sick. Yeah, Interesting. pretty cool. Interesting. Okay. All right. I had a tier one show that was left on the board that went undrafted. I see. But wow. I said it was The Hills because I didn't really know. I always thought The Hills was a bigger deal. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I just, I know Lauren Conrad. I don't really know anyone that's on. Kristen Cavallari was on the other one. Look, okay. Well, Laguna, Lauren Conrad's the main character of in Laguna Beach. The Hills. Oh. No, the Laguna. Of both of them. Yeah, I mean, both then, of them, but. Yeah, because Kristen and her were best friends, and then in the hills they kind of go their separate ways, and so then we get like LC who steps in and Heidi, and yeah. So which one do you think is the bigger show culturally? But they're Laguna basically Beach. the same. Sh it's like Fantasy Factory and Robin Big, right? It's like kind it's of the just, same. It's yeah, just I think sure. it was just like two different contracts. Like it's literally yeah. like the same show, okay. but they're just a little older basically they're in high school in the good yeah. beach and then they're just a little older like doing mm -hmm. like they have like jobs and shit. And, so i guess yeah. yeah the hills slash laguna beach could have been a tier one pick there i think yes um all my tier twos got picked tier three next we talked about it next mm, yep such i wanted a, next such a strange show bus so full strange. of weirdos doing but weird also dating fantastic challenges show. like why is The Bachelor not a little tiny bit more like Next? Just a little bit of Next spirit yeah. wrinkled into The Bachelor is what it needs. I need a yeah. little more so game, more, a little less okay. show. Okay. Just a little bit of kooky, funny challenges. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not like, oh, we're see. finger painting together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agree. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, um, I was never gonna pick it because it was. I mean, TRL was like the original MTV. Yeah, basically. like it was the. But it's. I was not like grinding yeah. out episodes of TRL or anything. No, uh, 
Like I had very important show, but you know, whatever. Shout out Carson Daly. Also, a little young for it. By the time yeah, I, was I was watching like, it a lot, wasn't really on anymore. No, it's crazy how big of a deal I, like those type of shows used to be. Yeah, just watching music videos. I absolutely loved um, Girl Code. That was and Girl guy, Code. Yeah. And guy Ooh, girl, code. yeah, I forgot about those. It's wow. crazy how many comedians I first yes. like Pete Davidson. That's the first time I ever saw Pete Davidson was on Guy yeah. Code. Yeah, Chris DiStefano. Yeah. Um, yep, I'm sure there were other that's ones. who I think of. Um, I um, think of like the redhead Carly, the like Boston girl. Yeah. Oh, uh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne the God. Yeah, Charlemagne yeah. was on it. Oh, Andrew um, Schultz. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Wow. Great cast. Great. It was such a funny because even on Girl Code, the guys were on it. Like, it was so fucking funny. Oh, I loved it. Mm, Dan and Soder. Also, yeah, a lot of guys. And I also loved the show Awkward that was like not reality. It was like it was like a scripted true show, right? Script. Yeah. yeah. And that was like, I feel like we got some pretty quotable moments from that sh- show. Like everyone was talking about going FBO, Facebook official. Like mm-hmm. it was like, you know, very trendy and like late high school or mid high school. Um, great show. Very different than the rest of their shows, I feel like. Yeah. yeah, they did a little run there where they tried doing scripted stuff to. Yeah, like do you guys remember? Stuff, I didn't watch that. There was some show that the basically the whole concept of the show was this guy was a nerd, but he had a huge dick, and that was the entire <laughs> idea of the show. He was like no. a weird nerdy guy with, and the bit was like he has a giant, magnificent penis, and that is the entire damn show. Nerdy. Are you sure that wasn't like an offshoot of awkward or something? MTV. Hard Times of R.J. Berger. I have heard of that. that? Yep. The Hard Times. I have heard. Two seasons. Whole show is he's a nerd with a big cock. That is is what the show's about. It's tough. It's tough. Tough life to live. That's so interesting. It's so strange. Look, all the ideas weren't winners. Yeah. (laughs) They all got made, though. (laughs) Um, All the jackass offshoots, Viva La Bam, Wild Boys, uh... I was I liked Watched I like Bam. Them. I like Bam. I like Bam and his dad oh, and him beating the shit oh out of his God. dad. His mom, Ape. Hey, I'm here with Ape and Phil and we're gonna fuck up their house. Dude. I'm gonna burn down Ape and Phil's house. Let's fuck what are you do gonna it. do next? Oh, Whatever the fuck I want. So like good. that show being out in like Ringer, that was all like <sighs> mesh together God, what a for run for those looking guys back now it would be sad knowing that they were all going through just aggressive substance abuse issues the entire time oh yeah wild mm-hmm. boys especially viva la bam probably also because yeah. a kid uh, like didn't really even understand the concept of people being drunk or fucked up it's just like these guys are just same so wacky i just thought they were guys. crazy they're just kooky guys you know the reason they're doing that shit is because they're so numb they can't fucking feel anything but what can you do? Mm. What can you do? Do you guys remember the show Bully Beatdown? Yes. 100%. They would get bullies and they would get them to fight real UFC fighters. I kind of remember it, but I never watched it. Like, I remember hearing it. Fucking but... crazy. It's like, you know, it's like YouTuber boxing now, but except the guys would just actually get the living shit kicked out of them. Yeah. Nice. Why would they agree to that? They would just pay them to get beat up? Yeah, just money or suppose. actors. Yeah, we're yeah. fake. Um, I mean, like, they got the shit. Like they got their ass beat. They, they did not really fake that. Yeah, you took um the real world. The challenge is an offshoot of that, right? Yeah, yeah. I never watched Road yeah. Rules or whatever that. I, I mm-hmm. did watch some Challenge though. It's basically like I watched a little, but not kinda, nothing crazy. Kind of like Survivor and Real World, basically. In, in yeah, it's kind of yeah. Survivor if you basically it was just only the challenges. You know what I mean? It's all yeah. But they I mean, did like live, the reality they did show like part of it in a house, is in right? there. I think so. Yeah, they there all, was some romance. Oh, like there would yeah. be. But the yeah, the challenge Johnny yeah. Johnny Bananas, dude. Isn't that just Johnny amazing? Bananas, dude? For sure. What else did I have on here? Um, oh, one that I was never going to pick. I didn't watch it, um, but. It was probably before my time, but Beavis and Butthead was a big deal for a while. That was I watched. I it it was a, yeah. I, it would be reruns when we were kids. I watched some of it. I think as a kid, I just didn't quite understand it. Nah. It was a lot of uh, like pop culture references from the '90s that when I'm fucking 13, I just didn't really get. Yeah, I was never really into it. 
I another one that I always watched was My Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, I, I, I like that one too. Yeah, those wild shit. Some wild Some little bitches. Yeah. What do you mean um, Dwayne Wade can't come to my birthday party? This is bullshit. Yeah. What else does he have to do? Yeah. <laughs> this is bullshit. Um. Other one. I don't have that True Life. There. Some good episodes of True Life. Oh, yeah. Actually, we're good shows. Have you ever seen the one about the? That's probably the inspiration for the Jersey Shore about the guy who goes to the Jersey Shore like every year. It's like that's the whole True Life episode. No, it's no. incredible. It's like his name is Tommy Cheeseballs. It has to be the reason they made it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to you. It is, it is a must watch. It is a must watch. I watched a decent amount of Catfished. Yeah. Oh, I did too. Fuck. Good oh my show. god. There's just so many. Good show. Good stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of some. I don't really watch it anymore. I don't watch other than like live sports. I don't watch like any TV for the most part. Ridiculousness. Uh, Surprised nobody took that. I watched that one too. Yeah. But it, it was it's the only thing you can watch how... now. It's the only thing on the show. Yeah. Thing on the channel anymore. Yeah. As I say, it just kind of killed me. Like how much they like just fucking overdid it but but people falling down getting hurt do weird videos pretty funny yeah pretty funny <sighs> tosh.0 did it better oh was yeah, that on tosh.0 was... what was that on no, no. that was comedy central oh was comedy but central. Oh. they just ripped that entire concept from him basically and just did it oh, shittier 100%. yeah 100%. yeah they definitely did uh, Andy Milanakis show. Anybody watch the Andy oh, Milanakis show? Fuck. Yeah. It's my name. I'm in this... oh. Peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Yeah. Very Another strange. very Bruce quotable. Good stuff. I think that's all I got. on my head, but don't call me a pancake head. Good stuff. Um, That's all I got. Yeah, I feel like there's... There's so many, and I think a lot of it's just because we we love trash TV, very nostalgic, but yeah. overall, very fun. Great, Great draft. Stuff. Great stuff. We're all winners. Right. Hey, drop a comment down below. What other channel should we draft shows from? We discussed Disney Channel, yeah, original Disney movies. Channel, original I don't know movies. how that would how that would go bobby wasn't much i think of 90s Channel. 90s cartoons in general could be yeah that'd be good. let's do that one let's do that one i never i never watched cartoons like literally i you can't didn't watch think like nickelodeon any... or anything uh, no never right. watched spongebob never watched anything you're like such that. a bitch what are you talking about you don't that's not going to be a good draft then i don't think <laughs> we do that well i could like watch you guys or i'll you guys could do it you just google a list and be like um let's see here uh, mickey mouse playhouse yeah i don't know um what do you want to see drafted next i i don't know there's another channel that we could really do that will be yeah as MTV's. good as oh the cooking channel damn it i love a good cooking show i grew up <laughs> watching that too are there 15 like no good Bro, cooking shows no. They're all like. I mean, yeah. I'm a, I'm kind of with you, but like, I mean, again, Wes is going to be in the same situation that he's not going to. Yeah, I don't watch those. Draft. Like, do I know that. some of them, but we I mean, just draft. draft here, like here's a hot take: four Guy well, Fieri shows. Up. We just draft Guy Fieri shows. We could just draft channels, TV channels. That's not bad. I'll write that down. I'll write that draft down. Draft drafts. Let's just draft beer drafts. Let's just yeah. Let's draft um, channels. Is is not bad. I don't hate that at all. TV channels is pretty good. That's pretty good, Wes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if we're going to actually do this every time, but I did actually look at trivia today. Are we going to do trivia? I can. <gasps> yes. I almost forgot. Yes. I want to do it. I've looked. Pull it up. I'm not going to pull it up on screen. Just read it to us. Okay. One moment. Um, the ones. I, so I was able to get, I believe, five of nine today. The ones if oh. you if you guys don't know them, so you didn't wait. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I I, I fucked up. I forgot we were recording, and Fuck I went ahead here. and looked. So my fault. But I I'm I'm nothing. I, I'm nothing without my integrity. So I will not answer questions okay. that I that I did not know prior to looking at the answer. So so, but if you guys cannot get the ones that I got, I will will count it for the show. I'm, Ooh, HBO okay. shows. Sorry. No, that'd be a good idea. one. Ahead. That would be a good one. Okay. 
here we go. First category, NFL. 2010's all-decade running back Frank Gore was rumored to be heading to Philadelphia in 2015, but had second thoughts and signed with this AFC team instead. Colts. That is correct. I got that incorrect. I did not know that. One for one. Major League Baseball. Uh, and also, uh, for the listeners, maybe just give it a little, maybe a five count. Maybe they want to try to give a guess. You guys, you can also pause it. One year after tossing a no-hitter for the Rockies, this pitcher was traded to Cleveland in tw- uh, 2011, then signed a big deal with the Orioles in 2014. I did get this mm. one. You can either pause or or say your answers. Brody, go ahead. Ubaldo Jimenez. That is correct. Wow. Um, college football. I'm so smart. Probably will get there. What Big 12 school featured this quarterback, wide receiver, wide receiver combo in the 2000s? Paul Thompson, Malcolm Kelly, and Joaquin Iglesias. I don't know who any of those people are. Um, I, I know the Big 12 schools. Let me guess. Kansas State. That is incorrect. I also got that incorrect. I did not know that one. We can, if you want to double dip on that, we can come back to it. All right, geography. Here we go. Everyone listen up. After Boston, the largest city by population, beginning with the letter B, is this city in the Eastern time zone? I did Burlington get this correct. Burlington came to mind. I did get this correct. Burlington what? Boca. Well- Burlington, uh, Vermont. I think it's the capital of Vermont, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I don't know how to do this because I have the answer, but I did get it correct. But I'll let you guys guess and talk it out too. Um, you said Eastern time zone? Eastern time zone. Um, so what states? Massachusetts, New Boston York. Boston is number one. This is number two. This starts with the letter B. This city. Florida. North Carolina. No, I was like, Carolina. I was like, could it be Boca Raton? Not a bad no. guess. That I don't know how big though. of a city that is, but um, oh, Baltimore probably right. Correct, Baltimore. Nice, Baltimore, Maryland. Correct. Okay, I don't know how we can. Wow, oh, very so smart. Very topical. You smart king. Very topical. Let's go with a little celebrity mashup. I don't know how we're going to do this other than me going like that to my screen. Oh. We know the outside. Oh, I mean, D- I know DJ Paul ID and Ellen DeGeneres. Hell Bang. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Have to be a video watcher to get that one right. Okay. I did not know this one. I still don't even know what this is. I never heard of it in my life. Snacks and candy for the, for the, for my fellow, oh, yeah. my fellow fats out this there. Bobby, Bobby, listen up. I didn't know it at all. <laughs> this chocolate and hazelnut product is covered in gold foil, placed in a brown and gold paper lining and referred to as quote, the golden experience. Tobblestone chocolates. I was thinking uh, the, the never, little little balls. I've never heard of it. I'll, I'll read it again. No, I've never heard Ferrero of it. Ferrero something. Ferrero. I can picture Rocher. it. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. This. Do you tro- know the answer? Yes, I didn't get it right, but I have it in front of me. This chocolate and hazelnut product is covered in gold foil placed in a brown and gold paper lining and referred to as, quote, the golden experience. Oh, maybe this is the one that you were thinking of, Brody. Ferrero Rocher. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. I've I've never heard of that in my life. I was thinking of like the... Yeah, little triangle. Yeah. Yeah. That's also good. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Television. Television. We've got three left. Television, movies, and music. I've watched okay. it. With an original run from 2003 to 2010, what network aired Last Comic Standing, featuring winners such as Dat Fan, John Heffron, and Liza Schlesinger? All right. You got like a one in four chance here. It's either I got CBS, this wrong. ABC, NBC, or Fox. My initial guess would be Fox, but I don't know. Bobby, any thoughts? Idea. Who aired Last Comic Standing? No, I'm like trying to think if that's even ringing a bell. I don't even think I've ever heard of that in my life. I guess it'd be Fox. Drop a comment. Who aired Last Comet Standing? I guess I thought it was more like a a lesser known, like Comedy Central seemed too obvious. I guess MTV for this one, actually. 
Well, that I wouldn't just, be mm, network TV, though. That is, oh, I'm true. Sure. It's on one of the network channels. Folks, I didn't read the question correctly when yeah. I guessed initially. So I guessed MTV. It is uh, not Fox. It is NBC. Mm. Sad. Out of one in four chance. Movies. Guess wrong. Get wrecked. Movies. I got, this, I got this correct. The time-bending 2012 thriller Looper featured Joseph Gordon-Levitt and this iconic action star both playing the same character. Submit actually, your guesses, folks. I actually like this movie, and do, I got do, this do, 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 Bruce Bobby. Willis. Sorry. Well, I didn't know. She. I was watching her face. She had no clue. Yeah, I it wasn't was, ever going to get there that. No gears turning whatsoever, so I just nah. let it rip. I think she's going to know this last one. Music. I... What band released oh, these oh. songs in the 2000s? Gives You Hell, Dirty Little Secret, Move Along, and It Ends Tonight. Mm, all American Rejects, baby. What a classic. What a classic. Was the cringiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Some kids saying my dirty little secret at a talent show. Fucking oh, no. cringe oh. out of my goddamn shorts. Woof. Dedicated it to a girl. Oof. Oh, God. I oh, feel like dear. we've talked about this before. Tough shit. Woof. Not such, not Burn. so much a secret Into anymore. My brain. No. Do you want to take a Ugh. second? Has, no. Do you want to take a second swipe at the Big 12 school? Uh... I mean, Paul Thompson, I, Malcolm Kelly, a, and Joaquin Iglesias. Folks, comment down below. No cheating. Just a complete guess. It would just be, you know, and I now have like a 1 in 11 chance. Uh, fucking. What's the quarterback? What's the first guy's name? Just trying to think. Paul Thompson. Mm, couldn't be a more generic name. Uh, fucking. Texas Tech. Incorrect. I guess West Virginia. It was actually, it's Oklahoma. I thought I would mm. know a quarterback that went there, but never heard, I of, heard any of those, three of those guys. I vaguely heard of Malcolm Kelly, I think. I don't, I don't I feel know. like there's just another Malcolm Kelly, though, that's probably not that Malcolm oh, Kelly. Oh, there's Maybe a basketball player named Malcolm Kelly in there. Mm. There it is. Yeah, was that the is, kid? Right. My fellow that's Milliken folks. No, my fellow oh. Milliken folks. Wasn't Malcolm Kelly the kid that went to Carthage? Oh, maybe that's who I'm thinking. The kid of. that was like yeah. 30 that played yeah. college basketball he was in the military. I think that yeah. was his name. Comment down below. Interesting. Maybe Malcolm he's Kelly. the wide receiver of Oklahoma. Probably if you're not. listening, come on the show. Um, okay. Yeah. That's it. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, those are hard. Not really yeah, up kinda, my alley at all. I feel like hard. it's big time boy trivia. I could be wrong about that. I mean, like four out of the nine are sports. That's not true. Three out of the nine are sports. Three of the nine are. Geography, the ca yeah. the candies. You should have known the candy. Celebrity mashup. Yeah. You got that right away, and the music. You're not going to know them all. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to. That's why we're a team. If you could I write know. some Bobby trivia questions that you know she'll know the answer to next week, Wes, that would be great. Oh, that's a great one. What would be if you're? I've asked this to Brody and some other people. If your life was on the line for a category of trivia, what would you pick? What what category? God, how long do I have to talk? Oh, oh no, not how long I have to talk. Sorry, that's like a TikTok trend right now. Uh, trivia. Taylor Swift. Really? That's the a office. That's a, that's a big library. <laughs> it's, a, it's a deep genre. I know, I know, but it's like I, I. It's really all I listen to. A lot of what I consume. Yeah. We should. We should have a little competition sometime. Everyone pick their own niche category. Ooh. Do like 10, 15 questions. We see who wins. Oh, yeah. We could go like question for question to see. That'd be good. Or we just do one week is Bobby's week. One week is because yeah. I feel like that would kind of take a while for all of us to do a decent amount of yeah. questions. Yeah. That'd all right. Be fun. Folks, get your category. Get your category. Bobby, Brody, get your category. Life on the line. 10 questions of trivia. We'll, we'll go. I at could it, also who. probably do anything on like fucking injectables and like medical aesthetics. <laughs> like that's that's something. If someone was like, "Hey, you have to go up on stage and give like an hour presentation on stuff," like just go. Here's the thing, though. It's going to be very hard for the other two of us, whose expertise is not that, to write questions I know. No. that are hard questions. No. You know I'll what I mean? I know. I'll, I'll slide in the DMs of somebody. I didn't I'll say figure it out. Injectables. I, I no. Don't. 
no idea what I didn't, would be harder. Easy I didn't say to. trivia for that. I said like if someone was like, "Oh, you have to get on stage and talk about something." Yeah, that's what I, I don't know do. what. A, yeah, I don't know what a plastic surgery or a uh, trivia question regarding beauty enhancement products would yeah, be. That, that would be tough. That would be tough. Who was what the inventor is- of Botox in 1967? Oh my God. Who was the inventor of Botox? Yeah, let's Tell hear me. it. Expert. Who was it? I don't fucking know yeah. who invented it. Dummy. Wow. All right, good stuff. Do we have anything else to talk about? Alan B. Scott, obviously. Obviously. B stands for Botox. Yes, Alan Botox <laughs> Scott, I think is his name. <laughs> Pretty sure that is what the B stands for. Yeah. Alan mm. Botox Scott. <laughs> Weird middle name. Yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. Real niche. That's. Uh, all right. Um, make sure you go vote on the draft. Honestly, a great draft. One of the best we've ever done, I think. I think that's going to get the people sh- up in arms. It's going to get the yeah. people engaged. I think that's going to reach <laughs> the uh, max amount of people. Everyone will good. have an opinion. That was a good little tip. But like we said. All the shows are good, so it's going to be hard to vote. I think that should be the um, title of the show. The B stands Alan for Botox. Botox Scott. <laughs> the B stands for Botox. Alan B. Scott. Oh, B yeah. That's good stuff. Botox. God, that's good. All right. I'm so All right. Funny. Thanks for hanging. Good episode. See you later, See you everybody. Time. Bye, twats. <laughs>